Hey, how's it going everybody? Before I get started here, I'm going to do this video in two parts, mainly because I am really friggin' burned out. I took a trip to Havasu yesterday and ran all over the place, and I'm just <laughs> annihilated from it. Not just from all the running around, but uh, there's still a lot of pollen in the air, and I'm way allergic to it. And even having the windows up in my car, driving there and back, it still sucked some of it in. And man, about two hours after I got back home, migraine, back of the head to where it felt like somebody hit me really friggin' hard, and it took till about two hours before I went to bed to kick it. And then, uh, <laughs> to make things worse, after I kicked it, and thought, okay, finally it's gone, I'm gonna go to sleep. Nope, five in the morning, it comes back full-blown to where it was my whole head, like I'd been slamming it into a wall. And fortunately that I was able to get on top of in about an hour and a half to two hours max. I wasn't counting the time as I was just in here, pitch black, waiting for it to go away. But uh, fortunately with me on my headaches, usually when I've gotten a bad one, I can kick it with just dollar store headache pills, which is basically their version of Excedrin migraine where it's got the uh, acetaminophen, aspirin, and caffeine. That seems to work for me. Otherwise, man... <laughs> I just got to ride it out sometimes, and it's not fun. So that's why I got the shades on, people. I got photophobia, which is extreme sensitivity to bright light. And I just, I'm not taking them off until it is nighttime because I don't want that triggering another one. I'm not going through that again. And I'm achy enough just from all the running around. Still fighting the chronic pain. So lately, it's been back and forth to doctors and whatnot to either get adjustments to chiropractor, acupuncture, whatever, MRI, which just showed that I'm decrepit, but no real reason why I'm getting this, which it goes back. It's just left over from all the stress I had to deal with a couple years ago to where it just fucked me up. So, eventually it should go away. <laughs> it's just taken forever. So... I only got 10 laser discs here to show you guys in this vid. And the reason I wanted to do two vids is uh, I also found some vintage He-Man stuff, action figures, and a couple others that I believe are just Marvel action figures. And all the He-Man stuff is like 81 up to 83 on the years. Got them all for cheap. The reason I got them all for cheap is, as usual, the person had no freaking clue what they had, which I seem to be getting lucky like that lately. But also, uh, because they didn't know what they were, all the little parts and pieces, their weapons and stuff, or just accessories that came with the toys, they had all that stuff bagged up separate, as everything was in sandwich bags, like three He-Man toys per sandwich bag, or two at the least. And then all the accessories, man, is it wasn't just He-Man. They had He-Man, X-Men from, like, early 90s, and a little bit of Ninja Turtle stuff and maybe some other types. Just all mixed up. But uh, I just picked up one bag that was full of the accessory type stuff, as in weapons. That was only a dollar. But uh, after going through it, a lot of it looks like stuff that would go with, like, G.I. Joe. I mean... None of it really looks like things that would go with the toys that they had, so I don't know. There was maybe a couple things that looked like He-Man type stuff. Otherwise, just don't know, but uh, that's going to make that vid long because I want to show each and every little piece. So anybody watching that's into collecting this stuff can say, okay, that goes for this character or whatever, if you guys want to be nice and leave comments to help me. So, on with the show here. Something where you had a nice stack of laser discs. It's just a lot of them were movies I could give a crap about or stuff I already had. So, for getting only 10 of them, man, it's nice to get some that I either didn't have or I'm getting another copy of a decent movie. This I don't think I have yet, so. And I haven't watched any of these. I'm hoping they all work. Anyways, got Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. And let's see. I have no clue if 
some of these are letterbox, widescreen, or cropped or what. For a buck a piece, I really don't care. But I can't seem to find anything on them that says that. Next one, copy of the mask. Star Trek Voyage Home. RoboCop 2. Van Damme, Hard Target, which for some idiotic fucking reason the original owner stuck goddamn masking tape on it, hence why some of the sleeves are tore up. That's the shit that's got the fibers in it for putting on a package. I don't know why they did that, but whatever. It's again, buck a piece. This is where I scored open copy of my favorite Van Damme movie, Bloodsport. Mint condition sealed copy of Bloodsport. And they're both different there on the sleeve, so I don't know if one of them is cropped and one's widescreen or what, man, because they're both Warner Brothers. And got Kickboxer. And this one, unfortunately, has the most beat-up sleeve, which sucks, because I love the artwork on the front, man. It's just badass. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Conan the Barbarian. Say, man, that sucks, because that is really cool artwork there of him and her. And the back of it's even worse, but the discs look good on them. And then last, <laughs> and this is one, man... I knew what it was, but I couldn't quite remember the movie other than this chick is damn near naked through the entire movie once she gets captured. Very erotic for this type of movie. To the point where uh, she made the cover up, I believe, Playboy posing with one of the uh, gorillas or... Don't know, man. <laughs> Probably with one of the chimps. So she's always rolling around with chimps and stuff doing crazy shit. Anyways, this is uh, Bo Derek and Richard Harris and Tarzan the Ape Man. All I can say, guys, get on YouTube or Google, and I recommend doing a picture search. Your monkey will be happy. It's just <laughs> tons of nudity. I don't know how they kept this rated R, man. And it came out in 81, and I think that's maybe when I... I, I don't know, man. I didn't see it at the theater, but... uh. I think I saw it when my parents got satellite dish for our campground back in the 80s. So I could have seen it on HBO or something. Like I said, man, tons of nudity and other stuff to where nowadays that would be considered at least softcore porn. <laughs> How they got away with stuff back in the day, I don't know. In fact, uh, now that I'm doing the medical marijuana thing... I just watched Revenge of the Nerds. I got the box set that's got all the movies. And uh, one of the scenes in it where uh, Booger breaks out the Wonder Joints. And he's got the kid sitting next to him while he breaks out the illegal drugs, man. It's like, I was thinking, damn, they wouldn't be able to do that nowadays. It's not like they had the kids smoking pot, but just being next to him there. No way would they be able to get away with that. It just shows how things have gotten so anal retentive on movies, man. They're so paranoid they're going to offend somebody. And then there's people like me. Offend the living hell out of me, man. <laughs> as much as possible. She was young in that movie. I, uh, I remember the one called Ten or whatever. I just can't remember if that was late 70s or early 80s. Because this, this is... Yeah, th that had to be late 70s because this is acting like it's after the fact in fact I think they mentioned it on here let's see yeah they're just calling her Bo Derek a perfect 10 so it either came out in 1980 or whatever I'd have to look up that movie another one I haven't seen it in so long man not as erotic as that but some of her early stuff just damn damn so 
I don't know if I'm going to get the other video done today, man. I'm starting to feel really burned out. So I'll either do it later tonight after I've tested some of these, or I'll do the other video tomorrow showing the uh, He-Man stuff. And uh, one of the reasons that I want to do separate vids, like they had a pile of stuff there, and there's some things I should have picked up now that I've started looking things up on eBay, especially some of the X-Men stuff. Is uh, I didn't collect any of that stuff when I was a kid, so... I'm kind of new to it, so I really don't know the values of it until I look it up. But there was a couple that were like five bucks that are at least worth ten dollars. So it's worth going back tomorrow if I feel like it. Hopefully that same person to be there with all the toys. As uh, nobody else was really looking at them, they just figured it was just regular old toys like everyone else has. It's newish stuff, not vintage. Don't really have too many toy collectors in town, I guess. I don't know. So, see you guys in the next vid. Have a good one, everybody.